Daniel uses a tracking collar on all of his pointers to allow him to locate them while hunting in thick terrain. Because his dogs range out up to 200 metres ahead, the tracking collar also shows him when the dog is on point. This makes planning the stalk in much easier. She didn't know we she didn't know for sure that we knew where she was. She's actually come back and instantly stopped, pivoted and looked straight back at the spot. And now she'll want to sneak in. That's the body language to tell you there's actually something there. Let's see if we can get it. She started this this attack on this deer through ground scent. And then now it looks like she might have nailed the air scent. see the video he's filming it but we've got the dog on point 45 50 meters up there Sam a stag up there with absolutely no idea what's going on in our planet and down here with his channel 7 camera crew having a ball the face of a dog that is very disappointed we didn't just shoot a deer for it. <laughs> we'll get you some more or you'll get us some more.
70. 69. Let's just see if she stays on point. If she stays, then she's, then she's got it nailed. If she doesn't hold, then what it means is she's really staying there, waiting, you know, trying to find that scent. She's still just moving a little bit. She's at 67 metres. She's relocating now, but she's only moving like one metre. This really shows the complexity of air scenting, doesn't it? She's been air scenting this deer now for a couple of hundred metres. This deer will be in its bed, so there's no rush. It's our job now to go quietly. She's still locked on point. 21 metres on point down there. She's pointed here and here. The deer is somewhere around. stag honk for sure. <laughs> and this is some serious thick country and that dog it's been following that deer down for what two, three hundred metres with fifty, sixty metre burst and it's just the terrain beat us. I saw it take off, I just couldn't do anything about it at that point but how's the adrenaline of it? <laughs> we were close. Well, Fifteen, twenty metres in this country, you know. And I, it was obviously looking at me at the end there, it just I didn't see it first. Let's see how it goes, your moments from greatness <laughs> <laughs> or nothing. But how's the dog work, eh? Just, Impressive. Yeah. You know, this is an unhuntable country, really, with any other method. Hey, sorry, girl, my fault again. I could watch a stag on another face, you know, and I won't get the shakes, but that gets you the shakes. There's a scene out of Meat Eater, I don't know if you saw it, where he's about to shoot a big white tail buck. And um, he said, oh, my, I remember something my daddy always told me, and I was telling myself that then, was be a good hunter, control yourself, <laughs> <laughs> control your adrenaline, make a shot. And when you're that close, and we snuck, you know, with the dog on point for what, 50 metres? Yeah, easy. And it took us 20 minutes to cover this last oh, 30 metres. <laughs> she couldn't have done any more, but. Anyway. There'll be more. <laughs> Better luck next time. Yeah, he's about 27. <laughs> She's a day of maybes, huh? So complex that wind, hey? 
she was telling us there was one, but we just still got to see him. There's ant, we're going everywhere. Far out. She told us about that deer, what, 150 metres? Easy. Sorry, girl, that's twice we've let you down. There should be bone everywhere. <sighs> Seems like the perfect day for it, but there's just enough terrain and vegetation to just throw us out at the last minute, isn't there? <sighs> oh well, deer number six. <laughs> this is a bit of a party trick when you're a bit bored, you haven't seen a deer for an hour. Get the dog excited. <laughs> Poor thing, she wants it bad. <laughs> so on the right here is our distance. We did 7.2 k's. And we spent a lot of time in quite thick country. So up here where my thumb is, you can see 24. 24.7. That's what the dog did. Probably usually expect a few more k's than that. It's on point just over here. Um, usually do a few more k's than that, but we were in very thick scrub most of the day.